I know that this might come as a surprise to some of you. Sherwin-Williams 2016 Color of the Year is Alabaster. Painting your walls white is a great way to bring any type of feeling into a space. White is the perfect base for all of it. I love using all different types of colors in spaces. I don't usually stick to a color theme so much as I love just kind of discovering what I can find at the thrift store and at, you know, secondhand shops and bring those in. The easiest way to think about decorating with color is to think of it like a color budget. If you want your room to feel really energetic and happy and you want to use a lot of color, obviously your budget is going to be a lot higher than if you want it to feel really calm and relaxing. So you kind of decide how you want your room to feel and then you set your budget from there. The larger and louder the color is, the more money you're spending on that. So if you're going to paint a wall bright green, you're going to spend a huge amount of your color budget on just that wall. Obviously you don't want to put a purple couch with the green wall because you'll go bankrupt. So when we're thinking about our color budget, I want you guys to use this visual. We have this really amazing painting that I found at the thrift store of this Boy Scout giraffe and it has some really bright, fun, energetic colors in it. Because the painting itself is so loud, it needs to go on a neutral base like white. Picture if this wall was bright yellow, what that would look like with that painting. It might be a little bit terrifying, but by using a white base like alabaster for my walls, I can bring in really bright, fun, crazy colors, and it doesn't feel like you're being attacked. When I use a color like alabaster on the walls, that lets me use all of the colors of the rainbow, even in one room, and it totally works without going over my color budget. One of the reasons that alabaster is such a special shade of white is because it has a slightly warm undertone. So it really brings out colors in like warm metals and wood, looks good with everything, and it doesn't feel really sterile, which sometimes people are really scared of when they're painting a place white. They don't want it to feel lifeless and like they are in a hospital. So alabaster is the perfect shade of white to bring it into your home and make it feel warm and welcoming and still really clean. So here's the thing, it doesn't really matter if you live in like this super old traditional colonial or a crazy ultra modern house in California. A color like alabaster works from one end of the spectrum to the other. So if you're kind of like me and you, your house falls somewhere in the middle, get out of the beige box, try brightening up your space. I promise you won't regret it.